Schiphol, Holland's national airport, has seen a few VIPs in its time, but only kings, queens, heads of state, small stuff like that. This time it's the real thing, the Beatles. Jimmy Nichols, standing in for drummer Ringo Starr, who's sick at home, must be wondering what's hit him. Don't worry, he'll get used to it. He'll have to. As for John, Paul and George, this may be all Dutch to them, but there's something familiar about it all the same. At their hotel in Amsterdam, they realize why medieval castles had moats, to prevent their occupants being torn limb from limb by the enthusiastic populace. But the Wars of the Roses and all that jazz were a tea party on the vicarage lawn compared with this. Next day, the boys are given the traditional treat of guests to Amsterdam, a canal trip to look at the city. Only snag is, from where they're standing, they can't see the city. Just the entire teenage population of Holland, including some who like it cool, man, cool. You can't trust a special like the old Dutch copper when you can't find your way home. Dear Ringo, having a wonderful time. Wish you were here. And so do the people we're staying with. Target for tonight is the village of Blocker, where they're having a festival. And right now, Blocker's chock a block with, guess what? The entire teenage population of Holland again. And I'll be satisfied. Unfortunately, a mere 7,000 of them can get into the hall where the festival's being held. And what 7,000? But all the rest are having a darn good try. Well, that makes 7,004. Batten down the hatches, lads. This is what you came to hear.